Cleaners in some sectors look set to take home more pay and enjoy higher starting salaries of $1,000 to $1,200. This is under a progressive wage model recommended by the Tripartite Cluster for Cleaners, or TCC. The aim is to raise productivity and ease the manpower crunch in the sector. Keeping costs low does not mean skimping on wages. For 57-year-old Nasir Ani, learning to use this machine not only made his work less backbreaking, it helped raise his salary. Last time I was work as a kitchen cleaner, I get $900. So after I joined in this company of Banchuan, I get $1,002 before I training to operate the machine OMO. And then after my training, I get about 1,003. So uh, I'm very happy of this work. Giving wage points to cleaners who pick up new and better skills and pegging them to a wage ladder is one of the recommendations of the progressive wage system. This will improve work processes and increase productivity. The labor movement has indicated that progressive wages should, for now, apply to local cleaners in three of the bigger subsectors office and commercial buildings, food and beverage establishments, as well as conservancies. And for a start, it wants to help about 10,000 cleaners in these subsectors earn a higher entry-level wage of between $1,000 and $1,200, up from the current $750 to $1,000. It also hopes that higher wages and potential for career advancement will attract more Singaporeans to join an industry that is increasingly reliant on foreign manpower. We are hoping that government will take the lead. Uh, if the cleaners working for government sector are earning wages according to the progressive uh, wage model, it will have a ripple uh, effect uh, on the cleaners working in the private uh, sector. Uh, I think uh, we will see uh, the service, uh, the cleaning companies are having to pay their cleaners working for private sector contract higher salary because uh, otherwise their cleaners uh, might then uh, decide to work for uh, cleaning contracts under the government sector. Mr. Zainal added that he hopes the recommendations will level the playing field so that workers' salaries do not suffer at the expense of winning a contract.